Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you how to add a Terms and Conditions Service Agreement to your WordPress form by using the WP Forms plugin. While a Terms of Service Agreement doesn't mean you'll never face legal action, they can help protect your best interests by preventing abuse of your site, allow you to take ownership of your site's content, warn visitors about any violations to your terms and conditions and your right to enforce them, and limit any liability you may have over the content you publish on your site. Giving people a way to agree to your legal terms of service is the best way to protect yourself without sacrificing the user experience. With that said, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can go into the form builder by going to the left and clicking on the Add New option. WP Forms comes with lots of different form templates to get you started as quickly as possible, so you can select any of the available options you see here and customize them as you see fit. But if you want to create a form entirely from scratch, you can do that too. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and use the newsletter signup form template as a base. You can customize the form template in a few different ways. You can add new fields by clicking and dragging them from the left panel over to the right, arranging the existing order of the fields by clicking and dragging them around, or deleting them entirely by hovering over one and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. To add a terms and condition field to your form, let's drag the checkboxes field into our form and then open up the field settings by clicking on it. To start, let's update the field's label and change it to terms of service. We're also going to click on the blue minus buttons to get rid of any extra checkboxes we don't need. In this case, we're going to remove two of them since we only need one checkbox. In the remaining checkbox field, we're going to update the label so that it reads as the following. I have read and agree to the terms of service agreement listed below. The description field is where you're going to enter your actual service agreement or terms and conditions. When you're done filling out the description field, we're then going to click on the advanced options tab to open up some more settings. You can hide the label of the field by clicking on the hide label checkbox if you don't want to display the Terms of Service title if you don't want to. Scroll down to the bottom to find a checkbox called Enable Disclaimer slash Terms of Service Display and click on it. You'll now notice that your Terms of Service checkbox is now in a specially formatted box with a vertical scroll bar. Once you're done customizing your form fields, click on the Save button on the top right corner and we're ready to set up our form's notification and confirmation settings. We'll click on the Settings tab on the left, and we'll first click on Notifications. The Admin Email in the Send to Email Address field refers to the admin email address for your WordPress website, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. If you'd like the user to receive a copy of this notification email as well, you can use the Smart tag that belongs to the email field in your form. You can click on the Show Smart Tags text on the top right corner of this field, and then click on the option that says Email. You'll then see the Smart Tag that corresponds to the email field in your form. Just be sure to separate each Smart Tag or manually entered email address in this field with a comma. Next, you can customize the subject line for the notification email, as well as the name that the email will say it's from. You can enter an email address in the Reply To field if you would like for users to be able to reply to this email. Finally, in the Message portion, you can include a custom message if you'd like, or you can leave it blank. The all field smart tag that appears by default just means that the message portion of this email will contain all of the filled in fields that the user submitted in your form. Once these settings are configured, let's set up our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see 
after they've submitted the form. Message, show page, or go to URL. The message option will display any message that you write in this available text field. The show page option allows you to select an existing page on your site, like a thank you page or something similar that will be displayed after the user clicks on the submit button, and the go to URL setting will redirect a user to a different website entirely. We'll stay with the default message option for now. Once we're done, we're going to save our changes and we're ready to add our newsletter form to our site. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title and click on the Browse All option to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the available search bar. We'll then click on the newsletter form, hit Publish, and we're all set. You now know how to add a terms and conditions agreement to your WordPress forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.